Zara joins us now. So many good songs and you're back with another one, Can't yeah. Tame Her. We heard it on Dancing on Ice when yeah. you came to perform for the semi-final. Mm -hmm. And this is a track that's really about sort of embracing the true you, who you really are. Yeah, just going out, having fun, being free, unapologetic. Mm -hmm. um, going out party, if you will, like I say in the song, you know, party all night, but definitely just, yeah, embracing who you are and doing whatever you want to do. And, um, and so it was great to see you on, on, on the show. Yeah, uh, I, I, uh, you, and you skated. Yeah, a little bit, tiny bit. So, uh, look, here we go. <laughs> yeah, look, 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 look. look at that. I was so impressed with this. <laughs> It was like she could sing, she could skate, she could dance. Yeah. So had you done that as a as a kid? We did it a lot growing up. Yeah. I lived I lived very close to an ice rink. Yeah. And then um, you would just go out with school. You know, do you have sports day here yeah. where you you could go skiing or you could well, go? Well, we didn't like, do that. <laughs> <laughs> Not that. Yeah, you know, it's just so cold and spoon and race stuff, was yeah. part of the, <laughs> the limit for us. But <laughs> they would take us on like. You know, like a little sports day, and then going to the ice rink was one of it. Right. Yeah. No, I mean, your sports really days fun, sound yeah. a lot better than ours. <laughs> um, it's quite, it's unbelievable to, look, I mean, you're only 25. I mean, yeah. you're incredibly young. For most people, this would be the start of their career. But am I right in saying this is your 10th year as yeah. a recording artist? Yeah, isn't that crazy? It's nuts. It's actually insane that I've been doing this for so long, and it just feels like I'm starting in yeah. the same way. Mm. It feels like I'm just starting out. I have such a long way to go, and I want to, you know, do so many things, but it's really incredible to think about the fact that I feel like I am like a veteran in the mm. industry. Mm. <laughs> you yeah. know, I've been here for quite a while. But also, you would imagine that someone um, who's who's I mean, you as we say, you're ten years in, yeah. but at the beginning of of this hopefully incredibly long career, um, you wrestle quite a lot of control. I mean, you mm. like you like to have the control about what it is that you release. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I feel like I have been very lucky to have surrounded myself with people, or people have you know surrounded me, um, and they have respected me and respected my opinions and my choices. But definitely, I have to you know had to put my foot down when yeah. it comes to certain songs that I don't want to release or songs that I really want to release. Well, Lush, it wasn't Lush Life, didn't that nearly not? Yeah, people were like, mm, I don't know about that song, or like, Never Forget You. They were like, mm, I don't know about that song. Like, you know, it's, it's sometimes you really have to, to believe in yourself and to yeah. believe in what you want to do that you think is a good thing. And the first time you start doing that is quite scary because you think, God, yeah. if I'm actually wrong here, then I should have just listened. But once you do it and yeah. then it goes well and you do it more and more, it gets easier. Well, I think easier. it's even worse to, to do something that you don't want to do. Yeah. So that people tell you or persuade you into doing something that they think is amazing. And then, you know, you end up doing it and it turns out not to be amazing. That, that's when you really lose. I don't yeah. actually think you can lose if you release something that you feel really proud of that, let's say, doesn't go very well because at least you've put out something that yeah, you like. Point. Well, you Lush know? Life, um, I think, uh, so far has got 797 million hits as far as YouTube's concerned. Yeah. How... So you got that right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no issue we there. We did, we did. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm so proud and happy about that. Um, and especially now, since you know, uh, this year I have acquired my masters for the songs mm. with the help of, you know, I didn't do it myself. I didn't write the contract. Yeah. You know, I, I'm really thankful for Sony and my manager and um, Ola who sold them to me. But it definitely feels like. Good for you. I mean, yeah, thank Good you. Good for you. Thank you. While we're, while we're talking about this, the new single, should we take a little look? Let's we have take a little look. It. Here it is. Yeah. Yeah. Her, and that is out now. I know, the head swing. <laughs> I was trying to copy you and the dog's in a nice studio. It's like live your life bit. unapologetically, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Just like go out and have fun. And sometimes I think that's even, you know, as important as mm. the really deep stuff as well. Yeah. So on my upcoming album, I, of course, will have stuff that feels very deep and personal and maybe sad and heart-wrenching and then also songs like these that you mm. want to go out and you want to dance to especially after you know these past couple of years and there's no release date currently for the album is there no but it you will be this year and you haven't got a title for it yet or have you no, just not saying that, it out loud I don't, I don't know i think it's like <laughs> i'm such a I, I i have a hard time making up my mind but there's a few in my mind yeah um i think can't like in the in the in the theme of can't tame her mm. I, I quite like that yeah, do you, do you, 
because you say, you know, you can't make your mind up and you need to be focused. Yeah. Is that what the helicopter training <laughs> is all about? Focusing yeah. your head? Because you've got to be focused if you're learning you to fly focus. a helicopter. Yeah, no, it's, it's like a real, you know, when I'm done with this, I want to be commercially licensed. So not that I want to have it as a career, but maybe you, you'll catch me at like Las Vegas doing just like tourist tours. <laughs> but <laughs> I'll just switch careers. That'd be amazing. <laughs> but I, Sarah Larson. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. But I really want to have my license. Um, it's very different from music, which is creative and which is, you know, um, subjective mm -hmm. no one can say that one artist is the best artist in the whole world or yeah. i mean we all have our opinions but studying for something and having discipline to study for something really just takes um hours yeah you got to put in the hours how long before you get your license i would love to have it by the very beginning of next year but that's also you know it's like wishful thinking mm. because i do travel a lot and um you just gotta, you just gotta put in the hours. Well, you gotta like open that book. Yeah. And I don't really know how to do that. You know. You can't I... open a book, but you definitely <laughs> don't get behind the controls of a helicopter. <laughs> You've got, you got a lot to learn study, if you can't you open know? a manual. <laughs> <laughs> You'll we'll do see, it. We'll I have no doubt. But I love talking about it because now, you know, I kind of have to do it. Yeah, you yeah, got yeah, to. You know, I can't, it out loud. You know? Yeah. Um, thank you for coming in. It's lovely thank having you, so you here. Can't having Tamer, you. as we said, is out now. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.